just isn't going to work. This room is begging for me to make it a coffee table. And it's actually a great DIY project. You can knock off in a weekend. It'll be great, because I have somewhere to put my coffee. This is annoying. It's truth. But I can go one better. What I've got in mind, you can make without using a single screw. And the end result, it looks a million bucks. For this coffee table, instead of a timber frame, I'm going to be making it out of steel angle. The first job I need to do is cut everything to size. Now, because I'm going to have 45 joins, I've just got a mitre box, which will give me a perfect cut every time. Now, to attach the legs to the main frame, I'm using pop rivets. But you want to make sure that you use a square, clamp everything down before you start drilling. Pop riveting is pretty easy. Drill your holes first, then just put the rivet in the tool. Insert the rivet itself through the hole and lever the handles. The tool does the rest, so no need to be afraid to give it a go. For this coffee table, I'm going to be putting on tiles. So that's determined what size it's going to be because I want it to finish full tile. Now, I did say I wasn't going to be using any screws for this coffee table, and I haven't lied. So for the legs, I've used pop rivets, but the rest of the job, I'm using an adhesive. Now, sometimes picking the right adhesive can be difficult, and I think a lot of people will be able to relate, but with the one, it takes the guesswork out of it. The benefits of the one is it can be used indoors and outdoors. It's paintable, it can be used on wet and dry surfaces, it's versatile, so that means it can bond to any surface. Wood to steel, no problem. And I'll tell you what, it's been about five minutes, and it's already starting to go off. Now, I'm going to be painting this frame black, but before I do that, I'm just giving it a light sand. That way, the paint's got somewhere to etch into. Then I'll just go over it with some wax and grease remover. For the paint, I'm going over it with a metal primer first, and for the finish, I'm using a flat black. And because I'm gluing the top to this surface, I didn't have to paint it. Now we're ready to bring the two surfaces together. Oh, that's a good grab. I can't even get that off. And to finish it off, how beautiful are these Moroccan tiles? Now, the best part about this build is you can pick whatever style tile you like. And to finish it off, I'm just going around the edges and down the centre with some gunmetal grey grout. Well, this has worked out very well. There's only one thing left to do, and that's to set it up. Now, that definitely makes life a little bit easier. Now, I can sit back and relax. No more about... Oh, it's me. 